Thank you, Senator Patterson. Thanks, Chair. I have some questions about um, the safety incident on ABF Cape York. If the relevant officials can come forward, please. Um, Mick McKenzie on 60 Minutes reported in June that there was a fire and played some CCTV footage showing that fire um, and reported that the boat which was on patrol uh, had to return uh, to Darwin for maintenance. Is that accurate? Uh, Senator, there was a small fire on Cape York, um, uh, which was at, we understand the cause to be um, a hydraulic leak a few days prior. The vessel was not actually on patrol. It was already on return to Darwin. But notwithstanding, there was a small fire. Our officers acted very quickly um, to contain the situation. And um, the vessel uh, returned to Darwin with one engine, which is um, it's perfectly capable of doing that. Um, and we undertook a full um, investigation within the ABF. It was obviously reported to Comcare, um, who are also looking at the matter as well. I think um, the, the premise of the reporting, I'd like to say that our officers did a fantastic job uh, and we absolutely are committed to their safety. Thank you. Appreciate that. That's important. Um, ABF provided a statement uh, to the media that says that this fire was not at all associated with the successful people smuggling venture at Beagle Bay. Um, but it was, I think, a day later or two days later um, that this uh, People Smuggling Adventure arrived on Australian soil, uh, and it's my understanding that Cape York had been in the area patrolling the area and did have to leave the area as a result of the fire. Um, how is there no connection between those two things, if that is true? Senator Rear Admiral Brett Sonner, the Commander of Joint Agency Task Force, OSB, and the Commander of Maritime Border Command. Um, as I've explained before, uh, one of the brilliance of this job is that I have the ability to call both ADF and ABF mm. assets. And I think I've been on record saying that every day, every day we look at what are the risks, what are the changes that we need to make in posture. So in this instance, uh, we changed the posture around because of the safety incident that the Acting Commissioner spoke about. Right. So what did you do? Uh, like I would do normally, we uh, would, because of that removal of one asset, uh, relocate another asset uh, in that vicinity. Uh, if there is that risk or intelligence telling us that that's the case, um, or relocate in an alternate place of the overall posture. So there was no gap in patrolling, no gap in uh, coverage of the region? I think as the Acting Commissioner already articulated that particular vessel we're talking about was going off station. Regularly these patrol boats that I utilise in this mission change maybe as frequently as every couple of weeks so that they get the logistic support that they need. So we do adjust it so that we, uh, where we see the critical vulnerabilities based on intelligence, we make sure there's no gap in the changeover. How many of the Cape class patrol vessels are currently uh, able to operate and how many are in maintenance or otherwise not able to be operated? Uh, so, Senator, we certainly, and I might take the details on notice, but we've certainly got one vessel that's in depot level maintenance at the moment. Yeah. Um, and we will, we have eight Cape classes, as you're m most likely aware. Uh, they are not always on operations. They have no. to come in for um, uh, refuelling, refitting, maintenance, general maintenance, uh, recruiting, and the like. Um, but on any given day, um, I think there's you know three to four that are operational. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm very happy to take that on notice for specific. So other number. than the one that's in uh, what sounds like a scheduled maintenance, that's correct. Yes. Um, there are no boats that are not currently operational because of um, technical issues or any issues with the boats. Not that I'm aware of, Senator. But I will confirm that. Thank you. That would be helpful. Red Admiral, you mentioned that you can um, supplement uh, the Cape uh, facilities with a. Um, naval vessels and, and other facilities. Um, how often do you have to do that? Uh, well, on an everyday basis, as you know, Senator, I have both ADF and ABF vessels available. Mm. That's how we uh, provide that national assurance. And I think I've been on uh, evidence here before that uh, we have uh, an enhanced posture that's running mm. uh, out of predominantly the northwest mm -hmm. uh, because of reasons and matters you've spoken about. Yep. Um, and that has given me uh, some extra sort of uh, capability. How many, ADF vessels, how many ADF vessels are you currently utilising? 
Um, I'd have to take that on notice, um, but generally we don't talk specifics because we don't like to talk about how many numbers we have uh, mm -hmm. because, you know, it's been a long-standing policy. We don't talk about numbers. Mm -hmm. It gives away details. Uh, but I have extra support from Navy at the moment, what I would normally do, as I do from Air Force. It, is it Air. true that um, there are frigates patrolling in the region on Border Force missions? There has been cases where there has been frigates, Senator, mm -hmm. yes. Uh, right at the moment, um, there is a case of one. OK. Um, is the use of uh, naval vessels a factor in our ability to only send one naval vessel to RIMPAC? Uh, that's a matter for the Navy. You'd have to refer that uh, to Navy, uh, Senator. OK. All right. You are wearing a Navy uniform. Yeah, but I am a proud member of the ABF here, Senator. <laughs> so, as you all know, right. I'm seconded uh, to work in the Department of Home Affairs. OK. All right. Well, I'll see that with them at an, on another occasion. Um, I want to move on to the NZYQ cohort. Senator, can I just sorry, correct one, one made, uh, point I made? Our sec there is a second vessel that has started deep le depot level maintenance in February, March this year. Okay. So there are two that are like that. At the last estimates, I um, responded to a question where I reflected the fact that we received the vessels uh, over 2013 to 2015. So they're going into their second five-year depot level Thank maintenance. Thank you. 